All right, head coach Steve Denton of the Texas A&M Aggies, 4-0 win over Oklahoma State. Uh, congratulations, coach. A little bit about the, the, the doubles. It started out three, you had a little lineup change, but they did real well. They did. They, uh, they played very aggressively. I, I thought especially Colin Hoover was, uh, was exceptional in his doubles today and uh, you know, kind of got us off to a good start there. And it's you know, refreshing for us to be able to win two and three doubles, uh, which have been not our strengths for this team. Uh, this team has been number one doubles. And for us to be able to win the point without our number one doubles team is, uh, is a good sign for us. Yeah. And so, um, you get that, and and you guys came out really strong in the singles. What was uh, what was the thinking? You knew you knew Oklahoma State was kind of um, their dog in a corner because this is for their tournament. So Absolutely. you knew they were going to be aggressive. They were, and uh, I but I felt like that if our guys came out and won the first set and really took it to them, you know, this it's it's a confidence issue. Their team has lost a lot of close matches this year, and I felt like that if we got on them early, that maybe there would uh, there would be this sense of well. You know, we're just, it's not our season, kind of, and I, got, I thought our guys did a good job of winning a lot of first sets, and even if we lost the first set, we did a good job of kind of getting ahead in the second, so they didn't really see any points on the board anywhere. They didn't really see any real, I guess, light at the end of the tunnel, and we were able to kind of stay on them there, and then a couple guys were able to finish in straights, and that is really important, especially in a three-day tournament like this in the heat, where you need to save your legs. I thought our guys did a good job of that, and giving ourselves the best chance of being fresh as we move forward. Yeah, so you guys are, um, you've got uh, you got it in the bag, you know, Baylor's still got to go out there. It's getting hot and very humid out there. Conditions are pretty hot. kind of gives you a little bit of an advantage to get back and kind of just, um, you know, get rested and get ready for tomorrow. Uh, well, I mean, it's ultimately going to come down to who's tougher tomorrow anyway. Yeah. But, yeah, it certainly doesn't hurt us that we got the early match. We got off the course relatively easily, uh, you know, pretty pretty soon, and, and we were able to save ourselves uh, for what's going to be, you know, potentially if we were to get into the final. You know, we know that we're going to be playing two great teams uh, coming up in, this, in the rest of this tournament. What about, um, I mean, you made the switch with Griggy and uh, Clegu, uh -huh. and uh, Clegu just came out on fire. I mean, he he was up a 6 0 2 0 almost before the guy even right. got on the board. Well, I feel like that, um, first of all, I think Riggy has kind of earned the right. He, I think he's won maybe 15 or 16 out of 17 matches. And uh, I felt like that it was an opportunity for him to get, it was a time for him to move forward a little bit. And I thought that, like you said, Clayton responded really well. You know, he didn't take, uh, I guess, the demotion uh, personally, uh, but felt like that was the best for the team. And he ended up playing a really good match and coming out on fire. And, you know, I'll, I'm, I'm perfectly happy for him to show me that I made the wrong decision <laughs> and have that kind of mentality, because apparently that's what, I, what he had to do. And then speak a little bit about Colin Hoover. He had a quick match, too. He just, you know, when I was over there, it looked like he was in control and just playing with a lot of confidence. He, he did, and he's beginning to play better. You know, against Texas the other night, I thought he played, you know, a set and a half uh, at a real high quality, and if something happened, uh, get lighted off some credit, but I felt like that his game kind of went dropped off a little bit. And... Uh, and as a result, you know, he had a good two or three days of practice. We got a, that bad taste out of our mouth against TCU last Friday. And uh, I feel like that, you know, this team is, you know, poised again to, to hopefully make a run. You know, you know, we've had a good year. And so, you know, losing one match, this is way far from over. And still the most important things are ahead for us as far as the yeah. team is concerned. Well, good. Well, thanks a lot, Coach. Thank